In this video, I'm going to cover how to build systematic swing trading systems using different market regimes, aligning different strategies, how to backtest them, them effectively, and how to create a financial plan that you can manage risk and plan your future income. Hey, my name is Chris Dover. I'm the founder of Paul and A Trading. And if you're serious about trading real, robust edges in the market and not just fluff, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. In today's video, we're building on what we discussed yesterday. I'll put the link to yesterday's video down below. Using market regimes to craft the right trading system. If you haven't watched that video yet, that's probably something you need to pay attention to. Go back and watch that video. Today's going to be better. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our free newsletter at pollinatetrading.com for weekly insights, some of these strategies and market updates whenever the market needs an update. All right, so think about this. You've been trading a system, the same strategy every day, every week for the last few months. You've been doing phenomenally. It's been providing great returns. It's, you know, high win rate. It's just printing money for you. Then one day, boom, it all breaks. You're like, okay, cool. One day is not that big a deal. Next trade happens, no good. Maybe the next trade wins. Maybe the next trade. In essence, what happens is your system stops working the way it worked before. You may you may luck into some winning trades, but more than likely, it's just going to go doot, doot, here's your equity curve and slam straight down. So a system, of course, using systematic trading, even algorithmic trading, they all go through this. The idea is you're doing the exact same thing systematically, but if you're not adapting to the market conditions, then that's when the system can break. So you don't just need to have a single system, okay? You need to have a system for each of the market regimes that exist. You just need to make sure that you are trading the right asset in the right market regime. Okay, so let's talk about matching your system to the current market regime. So like a swing trading trend-based system or a momentum system is excellent in a bullish equity market, at least, or, or futures, trending system. Okay, so this is the S&P 500 since March of 2023. This would have been the absolute bottom in October of 2022. And you can see that it has gone from 3,600 to 5,800 almost in that period of time. Okay, just a nice easy trend, especially in the middle here, this last, let's almost call it year. So October, 2023, uh, pretty much, and this is a weekly chart, by the way, it's pretty much just pumped nice and gently up. Every time it has a pullback, it seems to find that bottom. This is a 21 week exponential moving average. It finds that and it goes. Now, if we're to go back and look, you can see from the 2020 lows, similar sort of scenario. Once it gets into the bear market. So the idea is that you want to be trading these long momentum swing systems in this environment. Now, they do have these violent periods where they don't work, okay? And that's also indicative of, let's call it a bear market, okay? This is a bear market. You can see it's not very simple. Even though, as, as this trends higher nicely, nice. this one is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and just violent. And the, the down moves are big, the up moves are big, whereas in this bullish trend, the up moves are kind of small. The down moves are a little bit big, but the up moves are mostly small, okay? So that's two different characteristics that you can see. So trying to build a system, if you knew that the majority of the time, the system, you know, almost, I think it's about 80 or 90% of the S&P 500's lifetime existence has been in either a neutral or a bullish regime. Only about 10% since 1873. So 150 years of its life has been uh, in a bearish. So 15 years of 150 years has been in a bearish world where that would be uh, 135 years were either neutral or up. Okay. So that tells you, first of all, that's where we need to be paying attention. Okay. We need to start looking at these long only momentum type systems, at least to start with an edge. Okay. Now, the next edge that we could look at, the next thing to take into account is this awesome little reaper. And, and I'm actually going to talk about a trading strategy that I trade live. It's like my favorite trading system right now. It's doing incredibly well. 
in the trading lab. We are, everybody is showing up at the end of the trading day to trade this system with me every day. It's exciting, it's fun, and it's in the right seasonality too, okay? Meaning it's it should be working until the end of the year pretty strong. Now, what I'm going to talk about here is this thing called the overnight anomaly, which is in the S&P 500, going back to the year 2000. So this is a chart of buying the open, selling the close on the S&P 500. That's this bottom dark line, blue line, probably kind of crappy. It has made 5.4% uh, without commissions uh, since the year 2000, a whole 5% by going long on the open, selling on the close. Conversely, if you go long on the close and you sell on the open, the SP 500 is up 228%. Okay. So we, we stack two things on this one. We say we're long only. That's obviously an edge. And then we are buying in the period of time. The overnight session is where the majority of the move on the SP 500 happens. You can see it just barely does anything in here. Uh, during the day, all of the moves happen at night. So very simple. Okay. Now, I guess there's a dividend situation that might make it better. Here's uh, an example of that. You can see 2020 was right here. So stuff happened. <laughs> I won't bring that up. Uh, and then um, another one, which was uh, you buy on Monday and you sell on uh, Friday. That's this one. Pretty good strategy. And then you buy on Friday and you uh, close on Monday. It's actually not very good. So there's these simple little things that you can do. And this is the Chartist, chartist.com.au. So that's basically the strategy. It's called the overnight anomaly strategy. And what we do in the trading lab is we go long, given a number of parameters, the end of the day, and then we sell it on the open, okay? So if you are the sort of trader who like, not like me, uh, if you're the sort of trader who has like a full-time job or um, has obligations during that, don't really care to sit and stare at your charts all day long anymore, this is the sort of strategy that you can actually do really, really well with. See if I can make this a little bit bigger, maybe 150. Sure, let's start here. This is using an account size of $100,000 and one S&P E-mini contract. You can change this to $10,000 and one ES contract and this down at, or S&P 500, the spider, the leveraged uh, ETFs, you know, a number of different ways to do it. Let me just say what I personally do. I personally trade with options, okay? So I'm not sitting naked long overnight because I don't actually use stops on this. I use the uh, option premium. I buy calls on this. And so at the end of the trading day, given the right parameters, not every day, not just randomly buy it, but given the right parameters, I will go long. And then on the open the next day, during a, when a certain event happens, I'll exit. Okay, There's a window of time that I buy it on the close, and there's a window of time that I sell it on the open. And there's some other uh, filters, other tools that I use to help dial it in. Okay, so what we have here is the monthly average for this is the last four years. Well, let me just show you the chart right here. This is since 2020, day one of 2020 until today, trading on a $100,000 account with a single contract, just Every single time that the signal fired without filtering for regime, this is the result. So that we had a 10% drawdown in here. You can see that would have been from the 2021 absolute peak in the market uh, until about uh, April of 2023. So uh, I guess that's 15, 16 months that it was... So this little, this little period would have been in our, our market regime, might have filtered it, but it might not have. Um, but it wasn't until about, so we'll call it like February of 2022 through April of 2023, the market regime filter would have kicked in. But without it, this is what it looks like. It, even through the bear market, it it traded. You know, it, it took a lot of trades. It, it was, this is exactly what that is. We have a great system that just kicks butt constantly, doing great returns, and then suddenly it doesn't for about 
like, like 15, 16 months. A great example of a really strong system that breaks on you, right? And it's because the market regime changed. And if you didn't change with the market regime, you went through some bad times. So let's look, 2021, we, we go from a 50% gain in like a, a big return in so it looks like we made $47,000 in 2020. Then the next year, 2021, $16,000. Not that good, really, um, for a bull market. Uh, and then in 2022, we didn't do so good either. We made 3% and $5,000. So that's the period in here where it kind of sucked. But you can see it still has a positive edge. It still made money. It just means that you were frustrated for a long period of time. And then as it comes back into it, so far this year in 2024, we're up 34,000 on the strategy. And it's actually performing the best. The profit factor is the highest. You go in, you get your back-tested trades, right? You go find out what your, you know, your system is. It's important that you get this back test. It, does, it doesn't mean that your back test is going to be indicative of the future, but if you have the market regime categorized correctly, you should understand how it performs. So if I go and I categorize a bull quiet and a bull volatile market regime to a bear market regime or a or none, I should have three different results, right? So if doing that same thing, if I just focused on trading in the appropriate regime, I would double my results here. So I go from $2,000 average monthly returns to 4,600, almost, you know, uh, 2.5. Two five. My average win increases slightly, but really what's nice is my drawdown goes from 10% to 5%. So that that really kind of changes it. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar account, you lose, you know, what actually let's look at it like a ten thousand dollar account, it starts to, to add up. So a hundred thousand dollar account in the appropriate market regime. That means in a bear market or when my market regime filter, this guy, this thing down here, the SQN, which you can get free in trading view just by searching sqn christy fallible it'll be the one with the most likes on it um get that for free and put it on your your chart it'll tell you and i covered that in the in the last video again i'll put the link to that one in there um but what that does is that says okay i'm only trading this strategy when the conditions are great when it's not i don't trade it so that takes my compounded annual returns from 25%, still good, 25%, 24% Kager is great, but 50% better with half the drawdown. I think the trades are about the same on, uh, it, might, it might be a little bit more during the, the bullish regimes. I didn't get that number in time or this one, um, but it brought, it's a little over double, obviously, if that's 2000, 1.4, so probably like 3.25% return per month. You can forecast that. And then these numbers for you uh, more quantitative folks who are interested in this, the sharp ratio doubles. So in essence, the amount of drawdown to return, the amount of pain you're going to feel is a lot less in the bullish market regime. What is that telling you? Sortino is like, that's awesome. What is this telling you? This is saying in this market regime, you can size your trades bigger. You could trade this thing through the whole bear market and just put your size really, really small and just trade it like a robot or don't trade it. And then when you're back into the bullish regimes here, you can get, this is really strong right here. Um, but you know when you're looking at the 2021 returns here, 10%, because the volatility is so low in there, you can size your position up. So this is something that you can do and say, okay, I can guarantee that on average, I'm going to make about $4,600 per month during this bullish market regime. Some months are going to be down. Let me, let me just show you what I mean here. Uh, so far, well, September was 3.9. August was 6%. July... 3.6. June was zero percent. May, April, January, February, actually the worst months, believe it or not. So 
you want to just take those months off. But, but you can see it's not a hundred, it's not a winner every month. So when I, I look at my system and I say, oh, I'm making $4,600 a month, that's not true. Some months I'm making, uh, let's say, let's see, September, eight grand, 11 grand, six grand, I lose a grand, six, four, one, you know, lose one, lose two. So when I'm losing, I'm not losing that much. But when I'm winning, when I am making money, I'm making, you know, look at that, 6% month there in, in August. We had, a, like I said, it's been a great year of, of trading this. So as we come back to that, this is the importance of having a back test. Okay. When we're talking about how to trade our systems, when to trade them. So if you're looking at this saying, wow, Chris, you know, I'm not interested in making four, you know, having a hundred thousand dollar account and only making forty five hundred dollars a month. Well, that's fine. This is just one system, right? You stack on something like the swing B system, you stack on the equity earning strategy, you stack on the crypto system, you you run multiple systems. And then you change as the regimes change and you just adapt. Now, is this work? It is. Do you think it's going to be easy to make money in the market? It's not. 90% of people trading fail. So it's not something that you can just go out and say to yourself, great, I'm going to be a trader. Here's $100,000 and I'm going to be awesome. The amount of effort it takes to just make this month, this much a month, even on a $100,000 account, is really hard, let alone doubling that, let alone running two, three, four. So you can imagine running another system. If we just average this stuff out, let's say we've got a $100,000 account and we can just add that. Let's say we've got three or four systems. Uh, for a hundred thousand dollar account, that makes sense. So, uh, what's you know, this is eighteen thousand dollars a month. If you have like four systems that you're interested in trading, that really provides a smooth equity curve. Or you know, again, you could lever up. We're talking about one contract per hundred thousand dollars. That's a five thousand dollar drawdown on a hundred thousand dollars. If your hundred thousand dollar account went from 100,000 to 95,000, that's not that big of a deal, right? You might say, okay, 80,000 is a number that I'm not interested in. Okay, so that's four times this drawdown. Again, that's uh, $18,000. That's an $18,000. So again, some months, you know, multiply times four, you have a $4,000 down month. You have an $8,000 down month. If you're trading it in the wrong regime, you know, you, you can have, uh, so that's, 5,000, you know, over 20, that's that's probably like a 25,000 or a 25% drawdown. That, that's painful, right? So you don't want to be trading in the, in, in the wrong regimes. Actually, yeah, if we look at this, if we didn't do any regime filtering and we forced, we, we you know, ran our position size up to four, that's a 40% drawdown. You go from 100,000 to 60,000. No, thank you. That's the real, I mean, let me just kind of drive this point home. If you're trading and increasing your size and you're trading in, which you usually do right here, right about this point is when you want, you get cocky and you're running a good system and you're like, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to double my position. The next day I'm going to double my position. And then we end up in this bear regime. When you end up in that bear regime, let me show you what that was. That would have been right in. So let's go back to 2022. Okay, so when did we end up in that? Okay, so that would have been in January. So by January, you're out. And you're out until, maybe you tried here a little bit, and it isn't until February of 2023 that you're back in. Somewhere in here, because you're still below it. it. You know, this one is showing it, but you're still kind of below here, so you're probably not even trading it. It's not until about March, and then bam, you're on. And you can pull yourself out in this area if you like. You don't have to, but you can. So you you know running multiple regime filters like that. It's very simple when you look at instead of looking at the trading system itself on a day to day, go look at the big picture, get this dialed in, and and when it says don't do it, you don't do it. It's that easy. I know that sounds. I make it sound really easy, but. Uh, Surely not. Uh, so aligning your system with the market regime, back testing it thoroughly, and building a solid 
financial plan, your trading plan makes you a lot more resilient. And you don't have to build these things alone. That's what we do at Pollinate Trading. You can join us, pollinatetrading.com slash lab, where we get together every day. Uh, it's, a, it's a live trading group. We go over market regimes, what's going on, news, headlines, different strategies, different data feeds, different algorithm. I'm constantly, we, we are all constantly working on different trading systems and what's working and what isn't. We're sharing information. We're helping each other using you know LLM, AI to do everything we need to do to make this work. That is like the spot. Come hang out with us, paulnatetrading.com slash lab. And, you know, make it happen. Love you guys. Hope to see you in the lab. If not, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next YouTube video here. Uh, bye.